All right, all right, all right, all right, wonderful people. All right, all right, all right. All right, wonderful people. Are we live now or dynamic? It's trying to tell me that I have to go with dynamic, isn't it? Let me see. It's supposed to be live now, isn't it? Yes, um, video will, okay. Yes, uh, we are live. Let me check uh, the other channel. Uh, then um, let me check other channels so that I can be able to uh, move uh, to, um, to other platform. And I have to join now. Uh, Biafran Television Channel 1. I have to join Biafran Television Channel 1. What is happening here? All right. I think, um, oh, but just give me, uh, my audience, please, I want you people to give me some minutes uh, because um, I have to go to other channels. We are not in Biafran time, but uh, my brother, please just give me some minutes. Let me be able to get to other platform that is available to us so that I can be able to connect it. Yes, I'm listening to you. Just uh, give me some minutes. Let me uh, be able to this, join uh, right up, uh, The person you are doing this program with, I am seeing Metus uh, Mazi Metusela here, live EP 35 from there. Are you seeing it? Um, where? Check the your post for this live video. Are you are you on Rapture Media? Just go to Rapture Media. See it through Rapture Media. This is where you are going to see. It. Leave uh, okay. what? Uh, forget what, what I'm seeing. Here. What I'm okay. Uh, Mas, it's, uh, Mas, it's okay. We are on right track. Just give me some minute. We are. Okay, okay. Forget okay. what you are seeing there. A uh, great people. I want you people to just give me some minute. Let me continue. Why? 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 Uh, crosser. Okay. Okay, um, I think uh, we are, let me, uh, my great people, please, I want you people to give me just a minute. I have to 
uh, make sure that we get to Biafran Television Channel 1. Uh, that is the place I am already now. What is the problem right now? No, 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 no. Uh, let me uh, just go back. Um, I have to, I have to, man, this thing is giving me a lot of problems here. Um, uh, Marzi, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good, Marzi. Uh, we are getting there. We are already in order of our platform, but uh, I have to, I have to... I have to get to Biafran Television. Uh, that is where I want to get now my people. Give me just some minutes because uh, I have to now go to this. Um, now, but uh, name and password. Um, admin. Okay, login. Uh, just some minutes. We are going to get there now. Um... file okay we are going to get there very soon just some minute uh, because we want our audience in biafra land to be able to get this um this broadcast straight away so i want you people to give me some minute right now because uh okay let me put the time at least we are going to use at least now is uh now it's three o'clock it's in it let us go four five okay now alt yes we are done great people let me come back again yes uh our great people wonderful people of biafra freedom fighters lovers of freedom great people all over the world you are welcome once again today on Biafran Television Channel 1 slash IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namdi Okuchukukano. I greet you all once again in the name of Chukwoki Kabiyama. Uh, this is going to be an emergency uh, broadcast. Uh, we did not plan it, but uh, we must continue. And um, Biafra must come in our time. As you are joining, don't hesitate to invite your friends, invite your loved one, invite people to come and join us. And as you are putting your comment, we are also going to be putting your comment on the screen. But let me introduce myself, then we are going to move forward because we have no time to waste here. Marzi, are you still there, Marzi? Oh, yeah, I'm really sure, but are you still there? It seems that uh, you have some technical issue. But as soon as I see your red button, of course, I'm going to bring you out. I want you to take yourself away, and uh, you can also come back again. Okay, you are here. You're here, but your stream... Your video is off, you know that. Thank you, Marzi. Wonderful people of Biafra, as you are joining, don't hesitate to invite your friends, invite your families, invite those that are around you. Tell them to come, let us discuss things that matters to our struggle. And today we are going to discuss a lot of things. We are going to also discuss about the Katrina line. She's no more in that contraption called Daminibu Zoo. We are going to talk about the Eastern governors in Biafra land. We are also going to talk about 
the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Nam, the Okuchukukano, who the competent court in that contraption called Daminebu Zoo have discharged, but up to date is still in DSS dungeon. We are also going to discuss about the rumor that is uh, flying all the social media about our lawyer Jimako saying that they uh, only do told them something. We are going to get there. And we are also going to talk about uh, the upcoming election in that contraption called Daminebu Zoo. And I greet you all as you are joining. But I would like to introduce myself to you all. All right, wonderful people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on Biafran Television Channel 1 slash IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namdi Okuchukukano. Here we always set the record straight. My name is Mazoke Naukechuku, known as the Biafran Chidonwa Chineke. The general, I am from Ihala in Anambra, Anambra in Biafra land. I am IPOB under chain of command. Mazin Nam the Okuchukukano is the highest authority, the highest commander of this movement. And on absence of Mazin Namdikano, Mazi Shike Dozim is the one in charge. I will rest my case here till my comrade will introduce himself. But let me shake this problem that people are writing here that I put me to sell up. Mazi, I want you to take over the mic, please. Ndevo, Mazi. Ndevo. My name is Yonye Mechioba. I am the assistant spokesman here in Turkey, Istanbul. I greet you all. Invite your brothers and sisters, lovers of freedom, to come and share with us concerning the problem we are facing down in Nigeria, concerning all the wickedness of Nigeria. Mazi, are you still there? I think we're having a problem. Yes, you're right, Mazi. I think you're right. Uh, people that are saying that they I use uh, our formal um, our formal uh, broadcast with Mazi Metusela. Yes, I will also change it as uh, Mazi Onyam um, will come up to introduce himself. As time goes on, as we are proceeding, of course, I'm going to change it immediately. It's just a mistake. This is not the article. I mean, this was an article. That is what people may, meant. It is an article. Yes, I can see it now. It is an article. I'm going to change the article. But I'm still waiting for my comrade, my brother, Mazi, Onyamweshi, Oba, to come up. And as you are joining my great people, make sure you put your comment I am going to paste everything that you're putting up here. I'm going to paste it here. And the world is going to see it. And as you are here, don't hesitate to invite your friends and people around you. I don't know why our brother is having some technical issue. But of course, I'm going to continue straight away till he comes. Then... I will bring him in straight away. My great people, we are not going to shy away on this Biafra restoration project. Our goal is to restore Biafra. Our goal is to restore the kingdom of Chukwokikabiam on this planet Earth. We are telling our people to come together as a one people so that we can be able to push this struggle so that we can be able to restore our dignity, so that we can be able to go away from that, con from that contraption. I keep on saying this to our people that we are not one. The better all of us understand that we are not one is going to help us to push for the restoration of Biafra. Biafra is our land. Biafra is our identity. 
Biafra is our way of life. And believe you me, nobody can ever take it away from us. As we have joined Biafran Television Channel 1, we are on frequency. That is something that people have to understand. We are not only on Facebook. We know the atrocities and the reducing of people on Facebook, suppressing our videos and our live broadcast. Of course, we are not going to stop. That is the reason why we signed code of conduct to be able to propagate this issue direct to frequency, which is the satellite. I would like you to introduce yourself. Then we proceed in there with Mazi. Thank you very much. Ndewo Machineke. My name is Sonia Mechuba. I am the assistant spokesman here in Turkey, Istanbul. Under the leadership of Mazen Nande Kanu. I greet you all, my people. Ndewo Machineke. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you very much for being here today on Biafran Television Channel 1 slash IPOB Rapture Media and others platform that is available to us. I want you all to understand that we are on YouTube, we are on Twitter, we are on Instagram, we are on TikTok, and the most important that we are on satellite. If you tune your television right now, BTV Channel 1, believe you me, you are going to see us live because we are different. Like I said before, our brother come back here, Biafra is our hope. Biafra is all what we are asking for. We are not coming here to take what did not belong to us. Before the colonial master came to amalgamate that contraption together, we have been living as a people. We have our way of life. That is the reason why when Lugard come and Amaga made that contraption in 1914, he also understood that we are not one people. That is why he said, after 100 years, if you couldn't proceed, every one of you can also go to your different places. And that is what we're asking today. Today, they are killing our people, maiming our people in Biafra land. Our people are also there. They are not talking about what is happening to their own people. They left what is facing them. They are talking about Brazil. But that is not the reason why we're here. We are here for Biafran restoration. And I want our people to buckle their belt and embark on this journey. Because without Biafra, we are nobody. And when Biafra comes, every one of us is going to enjoy and live as a woman. And I want our people to also understand why are they doing this to our brother? Is keep on having a technical issue. I don't know why. That is the reason why we are also, we did not, uh, I did not publish this thing for people to know. Mazoba, I want to ask you something before we proceed. Uh, Mazoba, remember that the reason why they kidnapped Mazen Namdekano from the day one is because of the election. Election have come and gone. When they discharge Mazen Namdekano in court of appeal, in competent court, court in Abuja, we have a lot of people that are saying that why should you release Mazen Namdekano? That if you release Mazen Namdekano, Mazen Namdekano is going to be obstacle to them. They are going to lose the election. They keep on holding the Mazen Namdekano, and now they have finished the election. And some of them also said that when Pitobi will enter there, he's the one that's going to free our leader Mazen Namdekano. Now that Pitobi have lost the election, and uh, I don't know who is going to release Mazen Namdekano now. And I will also show our people a video because the rigging of election did not start today even though it happens in front of uh, Zeke of Africa, because Zeke is not our man, he's from Africa. And the, uh, what is the name? The one from Yoruba land. 
and also in 1963. That is when they started rigging the election. So, Mazi, I want you to tell us the reason why. Why are they still holding Mazi in Namdekano? I thought that the election have come and gone. Why are they still holding him? I want you to give us your opinion. They will Mazi. The floor is yours. You are still having some issue. Wow, today is going to be a very bad day to us, but we are not going to stop. This is something that we have been seeing. And we, you all know that uh, the internet or the media we are using is not ours. That is why they will keep on breaking things down. You know, but we are not going to, to stop. Regard that the uh, brother contraption together today, I keep on asking those people that are going to court today, Peter B is going to court. And I want to ask him, is he thinking that uh, the court is going to rule in favor of him? He should also remember that the same court is the one that freed Mazen Namdekano. They are still holding him. Mazova, please, I want you to go on, please. I want you to go on. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mazen. Thank you. Um, there is one thing in some of our people. I hope I'm coming out very clear. There is something when our people know they understand. Because when you this politics you are seeing today now, some people feel like uh, there are some group of people who just wake up and decided to, to form their own country or to move away from Nigeria. Many times we made it very clear that we want to move away from Nigeria because the way Nigeria, as Nigeria be, Peter Obi, I don't talk this thing before. If to say we come out to begin the champion, no election, no election, sit at home, and all the rest of it, they will begin today now when they will say that is uh, IPOB make that uh, Peter Obi lose the election. But at the same time, my brother, Peter will be going to the court. Which people they court there? Now, who be the magistrate where they that court? Who go rule that case? Is it not the same people where they cause the pain for we? So, uh, for him going to court, now they know. But for me, my brother, I don't even want to talk much about Nigeria because you see, that country. Nothing remain again. Peter B goes to court. And now Nigerian, uh, Nigerian youth and uh, some of our uh, Igbo, Biafran brothers and sisters who still believing in Nigeria, still hoping that a court will rule in the favor of Labour Party. That is impossible. I've said this thing before. There is no way Flani Buhari regime Go massacre people this way, destroy people, rampage everywhere, destroy the economy. Yes, we are still having some difficulty. Uh, before our brother will come up again. Okay, Maz, are you listening to me? They are oh. still, uh, you know, frustrating you with your network. But I want you to continue, continue, Mazi. Continue, please. Am I coming out clear? Of course, crystal clear. Okay. Okay. So, Peter will be, even if he like, make he carry the case, enter ICC. Make he carry the case, enter European or American court. They no go rule in favor of him. You know they're possible. Because if they rule in favor of Peter, be nine be that a Nigeria, that structure where the evil people plant in Nigeria, you know they work again for them. So this is a high time we all have to come together and then free our leader Mazen Nandekano. 
this is the right time. Let us just forget this election of a pen. Let's forget about one Nigeria. He no go favor us, he no go work. Today, politics in Nigeria is all about Igbo man, Igbo woman. That is the all about their politics. As long as you can wicked Igbo man, as long as you can deal with Igbo man and destroy them, you are good to go in Nigerian politics. That is the reason why you see some of our brothers and sisters who is into Nigerian politics. They are also doing the same thing to us. Look at all the politicians you see in Igbo land. Do you see these people as, the, as people who is coming to help you, to give you a helping hand in the future or even now? They are just there for their own political uh, uh, purpose. Because before you become a strong politician in Igbo land, those cabals will call you and tell you you are limitation, where, what you can do and what you cannot do. And some people don't know this. And sometimes you see them say, they, 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 they always tell you, vote for this, vote for that. If you don't vote, uh, the uh, full animal will be in power. Even if you vote or you don't vote, they are, they are, somebody must be there. My dear, this is the high time. Let everybody, if you never join in IPOB, come and join IPOB now. That is the only power we have. That is the only force we have to liberate ourselves. If they, they deceive you, they tell you this one Nigeria, one Nigeria. You know they see they can't get where they play given now. From, I don't know whether I want to know how scammers they be. You know when they, when, when they want to scam somebody, they go tell the story. We could be, we look like, we be like what you want. And from one story to another story, one story to another story, one story to another story, you will keep on getting hope and giving money. Now, what in Nigeria government they do? Now, for I know, make one I know. Now, scam. They're going to tell you story where you need to hear. Now, they don't carry a now put to be saying a court. Some of them don't relax. They believe say court now. Okay, maybe we wait so so day. Say if they go court now, but that thing go happen. But that thing go happen. Make one I not forget saying that the same system. Now, where they take hold our leader, man, and now they can move. Now, the same system. Another court, they go tell us saying they go release him. Another court, they go tell us saying they go release him. At the end of the day, they release him. They free him. But to let him go home, become problem. They feel tell on and say, oh, be win. Yes, they don't declare oh, be winner. But make him wait. Say, no, be both on. What do you go do? If they tell you, say, don't rule. It's still possible. So that is all I have to say concerning Nigeria and their election. Our man, ma Mazen Nandekano, our leader, we all have to come together. Make we leave all this back, back to where they pay you money, just they come, they put confusion. Make we not let our leader die. Yes, we are still having some difficulty. I don't know why all this thing is happening today. Uh, but it's, it's, it's not a problem. We must continue without stopping. Because, like I said, we don't own this internet. I mean, the the network. Or Mazi, are you back there? Are you back there? Can you hear me, Mazi? Oh, oh so I have been talking. Also, so I'm not, I'm not even coming out clear. You are coming out clear, there, but they just shut you down in some second and bring you back again, like two seconds. <laughs> Uh, Mazi, and again now, I want you to also talk about um, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. You know, it seems that they are, they are also holding you still now. I don't know what is happening, but we must continue. So great people of Biafra, till our brother is also back, I want you to also add something to what our brother said. Believe you me, there is nothing... There is no how they can ever fix that contraption called the Minibu Zoo. I know some of our people are gullible because of our primitive lives. Because we believe that someday, one day, a good person will come. I have said this time with that number. You don't need any good man. All what you need is the law of the land. 
if the law of the land can be able to supersede everything, what is applicable to A also be applicable to B. That is what they call, you know, a nation. And we also have to understand this. I keep on saying this. We are not one people. That is why you can see all these things happening in Lagos. And I keep on asking our people, is it only Igbo people in Lagos? Didn't they have other tribes? Why should they focus on Igbo people? Why should everything that happened, they only focus on Igbo people? In northern part of Nigeria, it's only Igbo people they are killing, destroying their businesses, destroying their market, their souls, their, I mean, life are lost in every single day. Is it only Igbo people? That is the time that we are supposed to understand that these people just want to use us for nothing. And we have been contributing in that contraption. Our oil is a national cake. And the Californium and the gold in the northern part of Nigeria is for them. Every single day they will come to you and begin to tell you that they find oil, oil in the northern part of Nigeria is a lie. There is no oil there. They are just using that to deceive you by keeping us one in a sense that the same oil you have in Niger Delta is now in Adawara. It's a lie. I don't want you people to believe it. Remember the dead Bugari last time he came up, he said that they will begin to mile or drill the oil. They are all lie. After they published that on uh, National Vanguard, up to date, we never see any drill. We don't see any, any pipeline. We don't see any, I, uh, I mean, offices of a, uh, like a shell. We don't see nothing there. But they will keep on deceiving our people because there is a lot of gullibility in our people. And our people also believe in a one day, one good person will come. So, Mazi, what, 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 what are you going to say about today? They haven't released our leader, Mazi Namdekan, because this is the the problem we have. We need these people to release our leader. We need to have this man. We need to, you know, take our leader because we believe that Mazen Namdekano bore the, the, the mirror that we, the Biafran people, beyond, we are using him to see. Because this is the man that brought this ideology to us. This is the man that have told us things that is happening today. A man that we call a prophet. And all his prophecy have come. Forget about all these evil man of dogs that we have there. So what do you think? Why they should release Mazen Namikan for us? Why they have to release him now and now? Mazen, the floor is yours. Thank you. What you can do? Yeah, friends. They won. Um... They have to release Mazen Nandekano. Because uh, the reason why they kidnapped him is just because of this 2023 election. And what is... Can you hear me, Mazi? Mazi? Can you hear me? Continue, 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 Maz, continue. Continue. I don't know what. Am I coming going. out clear? You are coming out clear now. Continue. Okay. Mazin, Mazin Nan, the Kano, they have to release him. They have to because he done nothing wrong. The reason why they went and kidnapped him is because of this 2023 election. Now the election is over. What next? They have rigged the election as usual. Because Mazin Nan, the Kano always told us that any time the election you never have to rig it and that what happened now the nigerian government INEC or whatever name they call themselves they went and they get everything every tools for election telling you that immediately you vote you will see it on the screen there will not be rigging blah 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 at the end of the day what happened at least now i have my reason of agitating for biafra at least now I have my reason for calling myself a Biafra. I have my reason to stick in this struggle, never to change. 
never to move away from Biafran struggle. Because every is only even a blind man has already understanding what is going on in Nigeria. Look at the election. Every election in Nigeria, people must die. Now you have seen it that Nigeria cannot work. Everybody, are you not seeing it that nothing will ever make Nigeria work? After election, look at what they are doing like criminals. Look at the people you take like a, a leader, religious leaders, traditional leaders, political leaders. Look at the world they are behaving. And nobody is talking. All of them, the only thing they have in their head, just talk about against IPOB. Now, you will be on board. You will be, you will be in the same party with them. If you want to be politically relevant in Nigeria, talk against Igbo man or IPOB. That is the reason why you see some Igbo people denying their, their heritage, where they came from. Some Igbo people telling you they not be Igbo, we not be Igbo, we be Niger Delta, we be Asaba, we be this, we be that. Igbo man, for that matter, there are so many there. Because they told them, we don't want that name. I don't want anybody to associate with that Igbo. That is the reason why we can Ikwere man, Igbo boy, telling everybody in the whole world that he's not an Igbo man. Imagine. This is the kind of slavery where would they hear, where some they read for book, where happened in 1900 what? About, about 100 years ago. Now where would they witness in this present time? Somebody like in Wiki, they, they deny, say they know Igbo. Even if you fight with your brother, with the Igbo man. That one cannot stop you from saying that you are not an Igbo man. You go say, yeah, Mr. Okereke is not a... He, 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 I don't want to do anything with him. But not by telling oh, the whole world that we are not an Igbo man. So what I have to tell Nigeria is this. And so, and all these Biafrans, all these Igbo people that are still hoping for one Nigeria. You know why they are hoping for one Nigeria? They are just going there for their... They are going there for their... Pocket money, money for pocket. That's what they are going there for. Because immediately you go there, you talk about Igbo, Igbo, or you talk about Biafra. You are in pepper soup. You they will they will put you in trouble. That is the reason why you see them. They go there. Some of them even change their names. Go to Abuja today. You see some Igbo guy when you want to speak Igbo with him, he go tell you say, make you not speak that thing here. Asopani here here. As only he has, so bad broken. If you can't speak English, they ask you why. You say, Do you want them to chase me away from this position? Many of our people are beginning to deny, say, Do not be able. You see, because of this election, they kidnapped Mazen and they come. We, more especially these people in America. I will never forget these people in America. They are the ones engineering all this rubbish. Some of them in Europe, anyway. They are all over the world. When you tell them, they tell you, hey, please, election, this election, hey, Peter be good. If Peter be win, now nah, Peter be no win. Before this election, we have been hammering it here. What of if Peter be no win? What thing will be the option? If he no win. If Peter, everybody know that Peter B is going to win. They go, they go regam. So if they regam, what are you going to do? So many of them say, just go home, relax, hoping for the court. Say, court will do something. Who did that court? Who is in that court? The same people. The same people. My brothers, dear friends, we have to wake up. The, uh, the best thing these people can do now, let them release Mazen as in now they can. Let them release Mazen as in now they can because we pray. That nothing will happen to Mazen Nandekan. If anything eventually happened to Mazen Nandekan, everybody's going to go down. Now. Dear French child, am I coming out clear? Yes, of course, Maz, you are coming out crystal clear. Now let me remind let me remind our people one thing. You see this uh, Nigeria, where we wanna see so. Nigeria a virus. Now a very big virus. Nigeria Nandekan. Do you know what Nande kind of ask Nigerian government to do for him to drop Biafra? Just come on, Tino. Commonest thing on this planet Earth. The commonest thing every government that wants to do a good job. 
we will not we not even waste time to implement. You had a seaport. Or develop development for the country to become great. Now the same country went and shut them down. The youth have no job. All the youth has become comedian. Today in Nigeria, every Nigerian citizen you see, all the youth, when you ask him, are you a graduate? Yes. What is your course in a... In a and the, and the, and the, and the, the and you know, know the, 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 the worst part of it is that Nigerian youths, they are taking everything as a joke. I don't know why some of our people cannot understand. I keep on saying about this primitive life. You see this, our life that we still have in Africa. I keep on telling people, because some of our people think because you are driving a new car, a latest car, that makes you that you are a developed uh, country or nation. I keep on saying this. I don't know why some of our people, you see people are dying every day. You are using it as a joke. You know, you come, you make a, you put one there, and they say, mostly the kind of uh, melody they are putting because of all this kind of uh, religion. They will begin to put you all this hint of uh, Catholic. Oh, people will be, you know, listening. You know, everything in that contraption is a joke. Maz, I want you to conclude because uh, we have to move to another step. Let of this. me conclude. Now, every Nigerian youth you see today, are you a, grad a graduate? Yes. Which course? Which uh, university? University of Benin or University of Ansoka or University of uh, Abia or whatever thing. What was your course? Engineering. What do you they do now? What is your profession now? Comedian. 90% of Nigerian youth, all of them are comedian. My brother. They, you know what? Immediately they start that comedian work. Facebook will not allow you to say anything about the government. They will only allow you to make fool of yourself. They will only allow you to make stupid of yourself. Make joke. Anything that happened, when government did, did something bad, you use it for joke, and the people will laugh over it. Now, Facebook, you have no problem with Facebook. But immediately you came out and start talking the way you, General, and I. Today is very, very bad. Today, I think uh, it's because of the time that we are using. I don't even understand the reason why they are giving us some problem on the technical. Am I coming out here? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're coming out clear, Mazi. Okay, now. Okay, now. Nigerian government. I want to ask one question. Their franchise, the general. Do you know how much money Nigerian government have wasted because of IPOB and then Nandekano? Uncountable millions of dollars, which is enough to fix the road which the people are complaining and agitating for. It is enough to build a factory and a hospital. That money is enough to give the youth what they want. But rather, they use that money to went somewhere and lavish that money in the name of bribing some white people so that they will frustrate this our agitation. You see what they are doing? You know the first uh, Radio Biafra we had? When they now they cannot get from uh, Israel, Nigerian government went to Israel. They buy it now. They buy. They, they buy put it, it from the Israel government. Do you know how much they spent to buy that? Uh, that uh, the first radio the African country was using, IPOB was using. They put it from Israel government, and so many of them. Do you know how much they used to bribe all these criminals to, to bribe them, wasting money? My dear, use that money. To tie the road from Lagos, from Lagos to Abakiliki, Ebony State, continue to other places, continue to other places, stop is massacring he, people. Is he not the one they gave to Ike Peremado? Today, now Ike Peremado now is rotting in jail. 
I, he, he will now tell me all those our money that he squandered. He will tell me now if the money will bring him out of the jail. In I where the civil, in civilized world. Because he thought that civilized world is in Nigeria. Like uh, what the unfortunate adopted uh, son from Afarukui Beik did to me here in Germany. By putting my name in the criminal police eye. And he thought that he is like Africa. The same thing he kept when mother went to Great Britain to do. Thinking that it's in Africa. Upon all the whole money that this man have today, is he going to come out? The answer is no. He's going to die in jail there. Maz, I want you to continue. And before you continue, I also want to like to ask you this question because uh, let us move in phase two of this, uh, our topic. Maz, there is something that is happening in River State. Okay? You know, yes, on weekend, I have told our people, time with that number, you should not trust that man. But there is a something also about Nwike that sometimes when you he will do something, I like his gods. Yes, there is no man in hinterland of Biafra that can be like Nwike. But that does not mean that I'm going to support Nwike because Nwike have massacred our people in all people. But there is something now that is coming up. After Nwike sold the river state uh, election to Tifubu, which is a Yoruba man, and now Nwike came back again and began to tell our people to go and vote PDP after he sold the vote to APC. And again, the one the, the one that is a, a having double name, which is Rotimi Amweshi, I don't know if he's a Yoruba man, if he's an Igbo man. He says he's Rotimi, and at the same time he says his name is also Amweshi. Now, Amweshi now come with an idea of abandoned property because of governorship because now Wike is about to step down and I, I have been telling our people don't even talk about APC or PDP in our land these people have disappointed us these people have killed our people these people have maimed our people these people are causing destruction in our land they shouldn't go there at all but I something that Rotimi Amweshi brought out now because we have been saying this time with that number. But some of our brothers and sisters from coastal region is something that we have already been forgotten because we are brother. Because you were one nanny, you know, we have forgiven our brothers on uh, abandoned property. But this time around now that Wike is about to step down, there is a problem between Wike now and Rotimi Amweshi. And wrote me and wishing I want to use this, you know, he want to come from this angle to, to buy our people like uh, uh, they should compensate our, the hinterland about the abandoned properties. And we can ask him, you, have, you, you also was a governor, why can't you settle people for that abandoned property? Now you are talking about abandoned property, do you want to bring back the wounds that the hinterland have forgotten? I don't know, maybe you understand what I'm saying, Mazi. Well, so what, what, what do you want to say about all these shenanigans? Because I'm calling it shenanigans. These people are just jokers. Mazi, I want you to talk about it, please. My, my brother, I'm tell, I'm, I want to be honest to our people. Do you see all these politicians? I met you Omike, this all the things you see they're doing, they're not doing it with their clear eyes. They're everything. Do what is it's going of what our people are doing? Look at Amechi and the Mike. Now they're fighting themselves. What are they fighting over? They are fighting about power. Now, Fulani is controlling Amechi. Some Fulani is also controlling Mike. So now they will tell Mike, this is what you are going to do. They will tell Amechi, this is what you are going to do. They, bring, they will jump their head together. The fight will continue. There will not be unity in the land. And they, at the same, any place you see there is no unity, there will not be any development in there. And there's one thing I want to correct. Do you see the worst party we have in Igbo land is Apoga? You see that party? Apoga. At this, at this, 
This Apoga you are seeing today now, the people that occupy that place, that, that champion that, uh, I don't know, all those people, they are chairman or whatever, this Apoga. Apoga is more dangerous than APC. Apoga is more dangerous than APC. Apoga is our problem. Because none of them want to correct anything. And uh, tell me the reason why you think that Apga is the more dangerous than APC and PDP because okay, now listen. we are here to, you know, 90, agree 90, and to disagree. Thank you, Marcel. 9.5, 9, at least 99.5% of Apoga, they're all Igbo. No be so. Okay. Now tell me waiting. Obi enough example, Anambra State, where you and I came from. Anambra State, where you and I came from. Apoga, everybody is championing Apoga because Ojuku is the one who brought that party. And there's a reason he brought that party for that party to help us. Now, Obiano then rule finish. What do we gain from Obiano? Rather, Obiano told, Obi told us. Obiano told us that Fulani is in his government. And then Niamu will respond. That anybody who kill uh, uh, who kill uh, uh, Fulani man will also kill him or whatever. My brother, let me tell you, Apoga is our problem. As I'm talking to you now, Soludo has already is sharing money all the villages in the whole of Anambra State. He's sharing them money, 36, 36 million. In my own town, that is what they are doing, 36, 36 million. That is what he's sharing to them so that they will use that money and buy rice and went inside villages to deceive people so that they will vote for them. More especially, Oka North, Aya Melomo, so many places in Anambra State, these people in the rural area, they don't know anything. They have no road. They don't have anything. No electricity. But this time of election, my brother, go there. Just send somebody go that side. You see your eye. You will not even believe that place is Anambra State. Obiano, you see today. Obiano from from Ayab, from uh, uh, Agulil, and the other villages, other towns near that Agulil. My brother, go there. You will not believe. You will even believe that that place is a northern part of uh, Nigeria. So why I'm telling you that the Apoga is a big problem? These are the people we trust. These are the people who will talk to us, tell us, take it easy. This is what we are going to do. Vote for us. Do this. We take them like as our father. When they advise us, we listen. Apart from IPOB agitation, whenever Apoga leader, when I see them, I used to be happy when I see them. Before now, they cannot come on board. I used to listen to them. Anything they ask me to do, I do it. My brother, do you know that we have never gained anything? After, but after they after they win election with Apoga, they will they will they will they will jump to APC or PDP. That's what they are doing. Just using the people. Okay, now tell me now, my brother, tell me one thing we have gained from this Apoga party of a of a ten. From Anambra State to Enugu State, you don't have you ever you don't ask somebody somebody who they frequent that road all the time. Before Enugu State, from Anambra State to Enugu State, it's, it's not even up to one hour. But now it will take you up to eight hours because there is no road. And we have a party they call Apoga. Go to Enugu State. Yes, Mazi, I, I think uh, I begin to agree with you because uh, that is the reason why we're here to be able to interact and understand and agree and to also at the same time disagree. I do understand what you're saying before you back again. Uh, because all these people we are seeing today that they are in Abga, most of them, they are APC. I mean, they are APC at night. At daytime, they are not Abga. Thank so you. what you are saying, there is a right on that. Because at the end, you will see that these people they will go and join APC at the end. So there is a, there is a sense in, just, in this thing that you just explained because that is the reason why I asked you so that you can be able to... There is another thing I want to, uh, there's another thing I want to say, my brother. Okay, we okay. are here to correct our people. You see Soludo? 
You see that Soludo? Obiano will be better than Soludo. Obiano will be better than Soludo. If you see the money Soludo is sharing, that money Soludo is supposed to use and do work in Anambra State. As I'm talking, Soludo is busy now sharing money because of this governorship election. Sharing money all the Apoga party. You see them, they are sharing money every villages. Sometimes they buy in Purumniri and they give all these small, small boys in the village. After smoking, you see them, they carry a bottle. Uh, uh, Chancing people, if you don't vote for Apoga, we kill you. If we don't vote for Apoga, we kill you. That's what they are doing. I'm telling you the area where I came from, what I'm seeing there. These people are the worst people you can never ever think about. They are not, they are not for our people. So, my brother, what I'm trying to say is this. We have to wake up. Whatever thing they are planning to do, or whatever thing they want to, they are doing, let them free Mazin Nandekano. If anything happened to Mazin Nandekano, one day, you see all this, you see, you see as we are just talking. You see now, every day we come on the, on the, on the program, talking to our people, everybody voicing out to their mind. If anything happened to Nandekano, my brother, these people, they, we are not going to take it easy with them. We are not going to take it easy. And then, Mazi, Mazi, before you continue, there's a question that I want to ask you. Uh -huh. Do you think, do you think that uh, Mazi Namdekano is in DSS dungeon, right? Abi? Of course, yeah. Do you think that Nigerian government are maltreating Mazi Namdekano bad in DSS dungeon? Do you think so? My brother, they want to yes. kill Mazi Namdekano slowly. Okay, wait. I just, you have, you have answered my question. Because I don't want you to go further. But why is that so-called Mazin Namdekano siblings? When you go to their pages, only what you are going to be seeing there is the problem that Mazin Namdekano is having is the problem he have in Kenya. They never came out and begin to condemn like uh, by rejecting Mazin Namdekano to see doctor by stopping saying all this thing, they will be telling you uh, the, the problem of Mazen Namdekan is from Kenya. What they are ha happening to Mazen Namdekan is from Kenya. And they, I begin to ask myself, does it mean that these people are in support of the zoo called Nigeria that Mazen Namdekan is living fine in DSS dungeon? You know, oh, I want to ask you. Is what, because you have answered me. That they are torturing Mazen Namdekan every day in DSS dungeon. They are denying him some food, his medication. But when the siblings will write now, what you are going to see, Ola uh, Mariana Kenya, Ife Tiriana Kenya, they have forgotten that in a major Madu Maz, I want you to say something, please. Uh, the, the worst fight somebody, a man or a woman, will fight is when you're fighting and you don't know your enemy. That is the worst fight somebody can fight on this planet Earth. You know, a lot of things has happened to IPOB. We have been fighting so many times, for years, decades. And we're also dining, eating with our enemy. Do you see the game? You know, these people, they are just bringing themselves out slowly. Slowly. They are bringing their out slowly. From this one person to another one, one person to another one. You see what is happening? Look at the Mazin Nandekano family. If we not if uh, if we get information that Nandekano is sick, they will come up the next day and tell you that nothing is happening to Mazin Nandekano. That is is fine, and they are collecting money, feeling fine. I don't know. I have asked questions several times. I don't know the reason why they are doing that. If they are tired of this trouble, let them enter house now. If you believe in a one Nigeria you want, you go hands up, say, me, I know be Biafra again. You go jump, enter one Nigeria and go do your one Nigeria of 18. Nobody is stopping you. Nobody is stopping you. But this system they are using, they are killing our people. It's very dangerous. Do you know, because of Kanonta and his group, do you know how many Igbo youth we don't just die like that? Do you know how many? There are many. But it's more better that you came up on social media and tell people, I have tried, but I don't want to be afraid again. I want to be one Nigeria. That is simple. Everybody will know where you belong. 
Not when you come, you deceive all those small, small boys down, down to Biafra land. You deceive them on that process. And the and the and the man and the man and the man. The, 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 the another another of their strategy now is that uh, on now we should be careful. If only do come at it, we deal with you. Uh, Mazi, they don't say be careful. If Mazi now be careful, they will suck. <laughs> Mazi, continue. I want you to hear. <laughs> My brother, the worst part of it, you know, one thing where these people they do when they vest me, they with them. All this youth we no know anything. Do you know that because of how they came out from this different TV, some people they see me. Even in my area, then they, they, they even they believe say after now they cannot maybe be the second in command. Hey, the day when I hear that story, I say Chine cannot be anywhere. They say you don't know this Sonia Mechuba. Now after nine day, nine be second in command, then nine they come. But but Mazi is because you are a good man. That thing that these people are saying is not entering your head. The same thing is what entered Simon Ebirima into his head and he begin to project himself as the second in command mazi continue and whenever such a thing come you have to clear to them tell them this thing you are saying you no know, i'm telling them that i'm just uh, i'm just a uh, facebook uh, talk at, uh, i'm just doing my program on facebook i know it's english number number 100 would be me we are not the candidate what did i know my brother, those people where they talk those things, because of there is no network in Nigeria. Maybe they see your video once in a while. They don't know any story about Biafra. All they know is anybody who talk about Biafra is a, is a Nandekano friend. Anybody who talk about Biafra is the same thing within Nandekano. Do you see? So now they are seeing me. I say one powerful man after none they can I tell them so now lie you now lie I don't be anybody if you want to know second in command of this struggle go meet the chick a dozium I'm not even a member of DOS people will go to school where Sabi writes to speak English when I don't see them now me where they they struggle to talk for Facebook so but meanwhile my people, we go come together. May we leave these people alone. May we forget about these people. They are not for our interest. They are not for our interest. They are just for their own change. Now money might be their problem. You go see one of the tomorrow night. We, we don't graduate. Come out. We don't they serve one person for Abuja. The next day that they go push and that. Say they go run campaign. After that campaign, if you see them on Facebook, you go see their comments. Don't worry, after this... After this, our program now, watch the comment, make you see their comment. They are still believing. My brother, you never see where were you? Scammer. Scammer, they collect money from people. Now, now so they go tell you story where you need to hear. You go pay the first payment. They go give you another story again. Where look like. Now, so you go, they drop money, they go. Now, what did Nigerian government, they do them all? And did they believe that they're smart? Now, they don't tell you, say, Peter will be, Peter will be. Peter will be, don't win. They don't give them all. Now, they tell you, say, in a court. Now the youth to see the hope say, hi, let us pray. If Peter be go caught, you go win, you go win. Now so they go do so they, they go tell you say the magistrate go carry a hammer. But Peter B is the winner of election 2023. But they no go give up. Now Igbo man make him wait another eight years. Case, case don't close. And the Mazio, if I may ask you now, even though they go to this court now. Uh. And the the judge said that the bit will be you won, and yeah. Tinubu said, "I'm not going to give it to you." What do you think that these people will do? Are they not going to go home and sit down? My brother, nothing, no, nothing. Where judge you go talk? Which judge where they talk like that? Best of the same feathers. <laughs> now they cannot. They not tell and say you don't free. Make you go home. They let and go home. Mba. My brother, the judge you go come out for national TV. Say. 2023 election, the winner is Peter Obi. But unfortunately, Nigerian ancestors told them that if they give Peter Obi that <laughs> if they give Peter Obi that seat, that uh, that earthquake will happen in Nigeria, that they should extend it for after eight years. That time Peter Obi will be perfect for the Nigeria. 
And all the youth will say, hey, not true, not true, not true. Before that eight years. My brother, if you be 50 years now, 50 years plus 50 years plus 16 years, two regime. How many come be? Don't be 68 years. And uh, before you come back, man. 68 years. Before you know it, you don't need 70. And 70, is, you never fire. There is something I begin to understand about this Nigerian uh, politics. Or uh, for somebody to become uh, elected as a president. This is not turn by turn. That is why we see Tinubu said it's my turn. Believe you me, Nigerian president is turn by turn. You have to wait. You know, Atiku have come, I think, uh, three times. He have lost. The next eight years, Atiku is coming. Oh, you know that he's coming back again. And when that eight, year, when that eight years will come, Atiku will tell you, now my turn. And there's nobody can do anything about it. Remember that uh, Bugari have come many times and went in. When he's 10, 10 or come, they give it to him. This is how Atiku Teno, you know, you Look, start. In Teno, in, my brother, in Teno goes when you are up to 89 to 90 years. <laughs> that is when they will give, even Peter B, even if they will give Peter B, Peter B is 62, I'll be 63 now. Yes. He yes. remaining more, he remaining more 18 years. Yes. I think 18 years to make 90 years, not be so. I mean, yeah, then, then he will come. Now they can give to him. Because so now line by, because now line by line. Uh -huh. Because Nigerian government now their new system is you will be in the power and die. Hey, you know, Sierra uh, has died for that. Now so Buhari also died for that. Tinubu uh, is going to die there too. Uh, and another person coming again will also die. Uh, that is the new system. That's the new Nigeria they are talking about. Presidents have to die. You have to be up to 19 years before they will give you power. And you will be you will, that person will die. You go see Tinubu now. They don't they prepare another mask. For Tinubu. They are preparing another mask where Tinubu will take govern. The person will go, person will go, go to present himself. No, no, Mazi, Mazi, I don't believe that they're going to prepare mask for Tinubu because his second in command is Shetima. I don't believe if anything happened to Tinubu, Shetima would, they, they will take Kukuma put, Shetima will claim it. I don't no, think no, they no, will. No, 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 no. Sometimes, sometimes yes. United Nation. The, the president need to go present himself in United Nation. Yes, you know the see Buhari. No, no, so what I, what, no. You know what I mean is like you know the reason why they were trying to now Kukugari Buhari is because his second in command is a Yoruba man, and they don't want to give it to Yoruba people. And I believe now, if Tinubu something happened to Tinubu, it, it will be very easy for Fulani people to tell to tell the world that. Uh, Shetima, the second in command, have to take over. Because that is, if you see, that is exactly what Mazen Namikan was saying, that why can't they allow uh, Osibanjo to take the power? But because the man that is there, they don't want the, the Yoruba people to take the power. That is why they did not give it to Osibanjo. But I believe if anything happened to Tinubu, believe him, it will be very easy for them to announce that Shetima will take over. Even though if you don't announce, Shetima will come and you know no say Shetima at the head of a uh, terrorist. He will announce mm. it by himself now. Who want to challenge Shetima? Shetima will allege that uh, up, upon all the leaking tape, that if such a thing happen in Western world in an America, Shetima can never smell any position. I mean any public position. But today Shetima is there, gallivanting after the leaked tape. Of Shetima and one Alaji, one Alaji and Kunle, which is Shetima. And today he is the vice president to be. So, Mazi, uh, I don't know if you want to show something. There's something I want to show you now. And there's one video I want our people to post. I want you to talk Go about. Go ahead. Them. Go ahead. We will expose them. We are going to expose them. I want you to see these videos. We are going to expose them. Uh, because uh, Katrona Line. They have given Nigeria hope for. Katrona line is uh, is already finished. Let us see. Katrona line. Even as God. Natif, she's going. Yes. 
Catrona line have My brother went to Holland there. Holland, no, Catrona line uh, uh, high commissioner, Nigerian high commissioner, former yes. Nigerian high commissioner. That yes, lady. yes, yes. Do you see people who came to do send off for him? Do you see the uniform they are putting on? Fulani, Fulani dressing. You know they see them? People who get Nigeria. Do you know why that woman is going? The woman is leaving because she knows the next thing that is about to happen. They have already plotted violence everywhere. Telling Igbo people, if you not insist on Biafra, tell them some group of Nigeria, if you not insist on the Labour Party, that blood will share. Now, what did they tell them be that? Now, you make the woman run. But some people don't understand the game, the message where them pass. That message for that woman now to carry them back, they go. They pass message, give some politician, we know they agree. We no agree. They tell them, say, Wahala, one boss. I'm true, true for Nigeria. Wahala, go boss. Because neither you let them, you let Tunubu APC in. Or... Fire me, I fire you. Now what thing go happen? Now what thing go is going to happen? So all this wrong where she they run, she no say to Wahala boss, they go come meet and where she did. That is why she's running. And at the same time, they won't pass message to give all these politicians to tell them that we the British, we, we have tried our best. Anything that happened, up to you people. That is what they are doing. Intimidation movement. Intimidation movement. That is what that is. Yes, we are still having some difficulty on the technical issue. As soon as our brother is back, I will, okay, are you back? So what I'm trying to tell our people now is like Katrina Line. She's, uh, her, her, they have resigned her. She, she's going back. And I agree with my brother that uh, what they are doing now is that for them to say that their hand is not there, that they don't know what is happening, because that is how then we bring problem in another man's land, when the problem will start, you will see them running away. Am uh, I coming out here? Yes, must continue, continue. The reason why okay. she's running away, the reason why she's running away, continue. She's running away because Wahala, they don't cook, they don't arrange another problem way bigger than Buku Aram issue. Now, this is the intimidation movement, now where she just make that British High Commissioner. Intimidation movement. All those our all those cabals, political leaders, some of them will not accept what they talk. They make that move to let them know that a war, fight is coming. That they don't want to witness that fight. But whatever thing, one day, we don't go run from our land. Anyhow, where they want them. If they want to make all of us die there, all of us go die there. But what they pay me be say, I know one come die as a Nigeria. I won't die as a Biafran. Nigeria, Nigeria, one Nigeria, one Nigeria. Okay, let me ask you, my brother. All this nonsense these people are doing. This is one thing that is that is making me sick about Nigerian youth. You say you want one Nigeria. Do you see Nigerian government politicians making any step? That it will bring progress in the future. Are you seeing any, any step from them? The answer is no. Yet, a, a graduate will still wake up. Uh, Mark, before house. you continue, before you continue, I don't know where I put that video. Uh, the leaking of election in 1979. In 1979, I think I I registered it somewhere. I don't know. If somebody have it, please, I want you to push it to my phone, to my WhatsApp, so I can play to our people, so that they will know that leaking of election did not start today. Nigeria died in 1963. The first election they consulted, I think, uh, in Awolowo was there. They leaked it. We can see it. If somebody have it, send it to me, please. Must continue, please. Okay, now. Nigerian youth, not only youth, even some old mama, still believe in one Nigeria. Have you ever seen Nigerian government politicians taking a step 
that will bring progress in Nigeria? The answer is no. They have never taken any step that will bring progress. Every election is rigging, bloodshed, sharing of money, eating on eating corn on the main road, so using broom to sweep, deceiving the people. One thing that something. Something that happened this year is going, they're going to repeat the same thing next year. The same system. And yet, people are still getting old Why they are still hoping, say, things go better. Look at what they just did to them this at last. They say it's a, it's a, a P2B, Labour Party is going to court. Who is in that court? Who is in the court? The same people are in that court. They are not going to rule in favor of the youth, they want you to suffer. They believe in, in, in looting of money. Okay, now let me say something here, dear friends. As I am here now, when I did something wrong on this on this uh, Facebook, Facebook will warn me or will delete my account or suspend my account. But do you know that all these politicians you see, they can do anything they want on Facebook and Facebook don't even block them. They don't even restrict them. They just leave them. Continue. You see, my brother, I am Biafran and I will remain Biafran. When I die, come again, I will still be a Biafran. Thank you very much. That's Mazi. all I have to say. Thank you, Mazi. Okay, Mazi, you? I want us to also move forward to to another phase of this uh, broadcast today. Uh, we are going to listen to Rogers Abogawos because we know that he's one of those people that uh, started all this nonsense. You know, Rogers Abogawos left what he's supposed to be doing in Imo State. He's there arresting our mother, putting them in the Black Maria. After Rogers Abogawos finished his tenure, he wanted to put his in-law because they believe that uh, Nigerian is not for anybody. And that is what they are playing. Of course, they are playing it and we are seeing it. But it left for our people to understand the game that these people are playing. And because of the gullibility of our people, they don't seem to understand. I remember the day that Roger Sabogausa was saying all this thing. Hey, man, I, I work on you, Tionya. Now after him, now his uh, in-law. I saw a lot of people in that hall that day. I don't know if the what they are having is a town hall meeting. A lot of people were clapping. Like now they have turned to him with state government as a you know, family property. And people were yes, clapping. Sir. People were enjoying. People that they are beneficiary of those nonsense that we are seeing from all these governors. They were, you know, clapping. The same thing Dave Umahi is doing this time around. I want us to see this... Uh, Dave Umahi video because uh, Dave Umahi is also about to finish before we will bring uh, Rogers about also what he said. I want us to pay attention to Now, who be this? Dave, Dave, and uh, what they are doing today now, they want to bring their, you know, their family members to come and uh, continue where they stop because they don't want to get probed. They don't want to get probed. They don't want anybody to ask them the money they have stolen. That is how they are behaving. After you finish as a governorship, the same thing uh, the River State Governor is doing today. He's telling you to vote his own people because he don't want anybody to ask him a query. And uh, I keep on saying this. The primitive life of African people, I don't know when it will stop. But now let us go to, as a, how to say, Duniana Onabago. 
Ono shia, ono shia zuru azu. On a bago 419. Now let us see Rogers aboga osa because now Rogers is lamenting after he is part of those people that cause all this problem in Imo State. Now Rogers aboga osa begin to complain saying that uh, is the leaders in uh, Imo State or the leaders in Biafra land are the problem. But the one thing I'm saying is this. When these people were governor, why didn't they change something? Why they did not change anything? Why? They did not. But now, after they have finished their tenor, they see that Aka Kaka Chogi Wajiaka. Now, after they are now saying, oh, hey, we have to change things. Chukuga Bofan Chani Noko. This is Rogers Aboga I want you people to see before we begin to see it. Listen to it. This is latest video of Rogers Aboga Osa. He's lamenting. He was a governor in Imo State for eight years. He built a state on his name. He built hotels on her, on the wife's name. Rogers Aboga Osa with the family. I don't know how many acres of land. Believe you me, if you tear Imo State into two, the properties in Imo State, Rogers Aboga Osa and the family have one. But uh, they are not going to talk about it. When Rogers Abosa came out, tell you that he's in a new ibo. Ejidega eku akubo umangi Jesus bori. Obi here Rogers Abosa na guani. It's better you go and steal than smoking marijuana. This is what Rogers Abosa told people in public domain, in market square, in market square. He told them it's better you begin to stole from people. A governor. A whole governor in a seat by then telling people to go and steal. But you don't smoke Igbo. Because if you smoke Igbo, we are going to destroy your house. So Rogers Abogasa by then he was uh, promoting stealing, kidnapping, and uh, adoption of people. But today, Aka Batagia on Banya Manyamu. Let us listen to Rogers Abogasa, please, my people. I shouted before to say nothing can be done for us, and they saw now they have seen the light. May you never take the anger of vengeance or the line of vengeance. Again, when we joined APC, we were major actors in APC. Today, the Igbo nation, the Southeast, is entitled to either the Senate President or the Speaker of the Federal House. But as I speak to you now, because of that unholy act of last Saturday, no one. they have not been able to give us any ranking member of the National Assembly as a senator yeah. or ranking member as member of the National for the Federal House. And you cannot be a Senate president, you cannot be a speaker unless you have somebody who has been there before. I screamed and said, Hostess Nassau should go for Senate. Ingege should go for Senate. These two gentlemen, one of them should have been the Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But the, our people, in their myopic thinking, in the infinitesimality of their brain, could not see the light. And today, this act of Saturday have denied Ndimo, Ndimo, the Senate President. This act of last Saturday has denied Ndimo, the Speaker of the Federal House. I weep, I weep, I weep that this kind of thing can be allowed to happen here. This kind of thing cannot happen in Canada. It could not happen in Sokoto. Yes. Where people will come with guns to shoot innocent citizens. They cannot do it there. But of course, here in Naples, use their people to kill their people. Don't find the army faulty. Don't call, don't accuse the police. Don't accuse the SSS. Accuse our political leaders who are here, who has sponsored this unholy act. And we shall hold them responsible for every blood drop in the course of these elections. And we know them and they know we... Mazi, let us stop it here because... Uh, My brother, hallelujah. I call, I call, it, lame, I call it lamentation. No, 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 lamentation. Not lamentation. Not madness, they worry for us. Mazi, Mazi. You, you understand? <laughs> hallelujah. Yes. They no call IPOB, say that then they shoot people. Thank you. Thank now you. you see they are the one, all these unknown gunmen, unknown gunmen, they are the one who is doing all those things. You see? Mazi, 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 just imagine 
in a whole Nigeria, a place that the mineral resources that is uh, the major resources that is holding that contraption together today, which is the crude oil, is coming in our land. You don't even find president. The Senate president you don't have. Uh, the senior advocate of the house you don't have. The senior judiciary you don't have. Nothing, nothing, they deny them everything in totality. But when, when these people we are planning this thing from the day one, they can't see all these things. Now, none of them is there. And when we are telling them to come back, let us reason as a people. Let us understand as a one people. And they find a strategy that we are going to use. This Rogers Abogausa also said, in northern part of Nigeria, where they are killing people every single day, you can never deny them this. And such a thing can never happen in northern part of Nigeria. But all of them were those people, they were planning all this thing from the beginning. Rogers Abogausa left Igbo land. He went to Sokoto to give a speech. Instead of Rogers Abogausa to use Igbo to speak to Hausa people, so that they are going to find a translator. Rogers Abogasa, when they begin to speak Aosa, to the extent that he begin to speak Fulani, but none of a Fulani man have come to our land and begin to use Igbo to speak to us. And uh, now they are crying, saying that they are those people. Maze, what do you have to say? I call it idiocy. I call it idiocy in highest Iber level. Iberiberism. Iberiberism, thank you. Mas Ijia, Iberiberism. Continue, Mas. Brother, um, Rochas or Korocha, the only thing I have to tell Rochas now, this is the beginning, the genesis. They will all regret. Fulani is coming for them, oh. They are coming for them. Fulani will finish all of them. This is the Rochas. I could remember when Rochas called Nandekanu, said that Nandekanu is mad. I don't know if you remember that, about oh, four or five years ago. I think that was in 2017 or 16, thereabouts. He said that Nandekanu is mad. Because Nandekanu is throwing their, their, their mehe on their faces. They will kill, they will destroy themselves. We are watching them. Do you see the fight between Rochas and the uh, and the hopes of them, they are destroying everywhere, rampaging everywhere. Anama akana abuwe na atu bombo. Anama aka they destroy. Mazi, Mazi, the 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 last uh, uh, movie that I saw near hopes of them, he had a kuna hopes of them, but they so so, so one is so so, one is so so. Hey, of course, hopes of them is living in Abuja. He's the only governor. Who left his uh, his uh, state where he's governed and went to capital to stay because of fear of insecurity? Since he hopes that he might become the governor of Imo State, he never he never based in Imo State. He just come there to commission something and they call all the national TV and it looks like he's in a in a in a Econsor's house. It's a lie. He's not living there. So my dear. The only thing again I have to tell our people, the problem we are facing today is our fault. If we all rise up at the same time and say no, enough is enough. Imagine if all of us focus on this struggle. If you don't believe in, in this struggle, you have to believe it because you have seen the sign. You have seen the, the reason for you to join this struggle. Nigerian government, their system is not for you. They have never implemented anything that will bring progress in that country called Nigeria. They never implement and you see them practice something that will bring unity. How can you tell me that you want to want Nigeria whereby when they do election, the other part of the Nigeria, they will be slaughtering themselves, they will be toggling, they will be hijacking bullet box, and you tell me a country like that will succeed? A country where after election they will rig election, they never stop rigging. And the way you tell them they give you one's excuses and the other, and you believe that country will progress, my dear, you are wasting your time. You are you are 50 years now. 
When Tinubu finish, you will become 58 years. Another criminal will join again. You will become... You will become, sorry, you will become 60, 60. Yeah, you become 72. They are about, I think so. Uh -huh. So that time your eye will open. Let us fight for our Biafra. Leave this weapon. They are crazy. Look at Russia or Korocha. Immediately that person is out from power. You will see them lamenting, talking trash as if uh, they are holy. One of the biggest criminals in Igbo land, the Rochas or Korocha. You never see them all the all the mold, 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 mold. Do you know how much Russia or Korocha used to mold status of uh, fellow criminals like him in that uh, in that uh, Imo state? You know how much he spent, even to the extent somebody in South Africa, Zuma, I'll be waiting in the call. Zuma, 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 Zuma. That his, Zuma, his country is pursuing, wanted to put him in prison. Look at South Africa, Africa now. Zuma, is, South, South Africa is not having light again because of Zuma. They are start taking light from South Africa, black people. And they went in Nimo State to mold Zura, Zura or Ozuru. They mold him there. Do you know how many millions of Naira they used to mold that guy? I don't know where that all those mold, those things they are molding. The progress is going to bring into the states. He's supposed to use that money. No, to no, no. If, no, if we ask Rogers, Abogawosa, ask him all these status that you are molding, he say he's a tourist attraction. A uh, pillar. <laughs> he's building pillars. Tourist, tourist pillar, attraction pillar. on top of uh, where they are throwing West Bean. West Bean. You know they see where they mold, they mold all those rubbish. Ever I got food, they take all the mold those things on them. Eh? All those China road where Kurochas do. All those China road where they do. After one month where they build the road, you go see road begin the tear into two, like say it quick, it quick happen. Bridges go begin the fall. You see? My brother, we can never be tired though. The only thing, the only thing that is pending, but I'm happy for this election. Do you know why I say I'm happy? Because I know they are going to rig the election. And I know after this election, many people are coming. Many are coming. Because this Wahala that is about to pass now, when that Wahala pass now, you go see IPOB, register go full. Mark my word. Because uh, Yes, Mazi, uh, you want to say something. Use your use your one minute to conclude. So we are going to listen to Mazin Namdekano because Mazin Namdekano mentioned the name of these people from day one. Because there is something about our people. Our people are 15 minutes, you know, I don't know, to absorb things in their mind. After 15 oh. minutes, it's already gone. I want them, I want to remind them things that they have already been forgotten. What Mazen Namdekano said, which is around six years ago, because we have been saying this not today. Maz, I want you to conclude before we show the video. Okay, now let me go to uh, um, 11th on Saturday, coming Saturday election in more especially Lagos State. If you are a leader in Lagos State, Lagos is not our land. We are strangers in Lagos. Thank you very if much, Maz. You Mar are a leader. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Lagos. you. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. Praise. If you, are a, a, if you are a, a leader in Lagos, all those Igbo areas where on a normally go vote, because I cannot stop you not to vote, up to you. When you're tired, the door of IO, I, IPOB is open. You are welcome. But when you come, don't bring any katakata. Don't come and put confusion. If your head is still hot, remain there with that Nigerian ideology. When you are tired with Nigerian ideology, you are welcome to Biafran ideology where people reason. So if una they go to vote, make una organize on self. Look for bottle. Look for machete. Anything you can use to defend yourself. It is very, very bad that you people will champion election, election. Una go bring women and children outside to vote. And una know they defend them. And you can't defend them. Look at that woman. Uh, and, 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 and Mazi, Mazi, before you continue, I will allow you. Mazi, if I may ask you, mm. don't you think that in that Lagos, the population of people in Lagos, don't you think if you don't count the Igbos number one, there must be one to three, isn't it? Of course. So why had when such a thing happened, 
you will see them running and hiding. Why? 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 I want to ask why. Why? Because you he built two plus two for Shodi. Two bedroom flat. Now he's a landlord. He's a member of big boys. He doesn't want to die. You know one scratch on his body. You know what make a liar destroy him. He's a big boy now. He don't want anything to happen to a house. He don't want made them fight. Maybe they not begin burn a house or, or government to demolish his, his house. That's why they are running. Now, Mugu fool there where you see so. That Lagos in the night. Mugu don't have Lagos there too much. Our people will be Mugu where they're there too much. As we are talking, they are busy entering uh, VGC after VGC. They are, after, they are entering, they are buying land. They, they sand field, they go. Umokoko. Tomorrow night they go come begin there. Hey, they don't kill us. So they don't bring our house down. No, chukuko kwa go for that place. They bring your house down. My brother, see what I want to tell our people. This coming election, where we want to go do now. If you want to go there for the safety of our people, make we defend on ourselves. Let the chairman of that area bring out to safety boys. They then just they stand by. All those boys where they come beat Igbo women, they beat they beat uh, uh, all those uh, one Nigerian Igbo people. When they come, because all those people where they do Nigeria or everything, some of them their head, they still they believe say one day Nigeria go better. And because of that, we will not go let our people just die like that. We will go defend them until their eyes go open. So make them mount people where go anywhere where the Igbo people they vote. Make them mount. Boys will go secure sec security for them. You see the other woman, that woman that where they take bottle, two point eye. They nearly blind that woman eye for this past election, this is a presidential election. Imagine if that woman lost one of his eye. What is he going to tell his children? Say he's blind, one eye blind because of Nigeria election. So now make our people more especially Lagos because APC, everybody know APC system. They use police to rig, they use army to rig, they use navy to rig. So all you people have to do, make una put una self together. Look for something, defend yourself. If you don't defend yourself, they will kill you. That's all I have to say. They were Mazi. They were Mazi. Let us uh, listen to this voice of Mazi Nandi Okuchukano. Because uh, what we are doing here is something that uh, Mazi Nandi kind of have said. In the past, everything that he have said with his from his mouth or behind the microphone in the radio Biafra, all of them they are gospel. And today, all of us are seeing everything koro koro, except your lack ability to reason. Because I know in that contraption we have a lot of people they don't even reason, they don't even understand. They can't think for themselves. That is why Fulani Alamajiri is using them. Those people that are using Fidu system are now maneuver those people that they know what life is all about. That is why today, after this, on during that election, presidential election, we see how people are practicing democracy in our land. You vote. You count, you now upload. A northern part of Nigeria, is it like that? The answer is no. <clears throat> we are there reading the election. And when the election we are happening, they allow our people to count their vote so that they will know how they will rig it. But now we are going to listen to Onyendu Mazen Namdekano. You are going to listen to those that they are your problem. In Biafra land, they are all your problem. Including Roger Sabora also that is lamenting today, and I call it idiocy or stupidity of a black people because they won't listen. After they are when they were in power or when they are in power, they won't do anything. When they now out, they will begin to lament. You think that this thing is going to help us? A lot of people are clapping for Roger Sabora also. Ride on, sir. Ride on, as governor. You are saying the truth, but you people have forgotten. When this man was a governor, what did he do? What? Can somebody tell me? Apart from building 
uh, estate for him and the family. Let us listen to Oyendo Mazen Namdekan. What he said about these people. I caught a guy by but for you people won't listen. And you quasi cabanin, Mumahi, Mokesi, Basmani, and Wodo, who quasi, who quasi, who quasi cob. You can't dig as in a rinny. A brand of full and new depot. In Chiwo, Osodonia, Sinobo, Nigeria. On them, no, no, you can't get in Hanakako. See her, Adam Mazi, Biafra, or so. Uno de Camaro, no depot. Can be also a brand of depot. How you're a monjo? Sagama Hapo, one of one Nazo. Queenie Hindi and Nina Macor, the man Kehawan and Komoha, Mancomo Mohagabia, Nina Gram Hokum Seha, or can be Zik and Aguazik and Bonizik and Akorazik, see an Ebe and Aganoza, or Nepagamba, or one Nigeria, Kaigani, Kaigani, the Gono Daniel Botinketa, Nako Brandi Asina, Yazikim and Bembo, Tinian, or Mia no Mia no Botinketa, or Queen Hino and Emma. There was one of the Kansas in Emia and Major. Unu kwa namka mwata. Na mse, muna anoge ogwe nka abuwa gafre riva naija. Unu ga anu opo rozo. Unu ge mezi ebe ni ime. Ebu mwaka na aga kukwa oge mezi ebe si o mamma. Ulo obo, aga anuzi ya anuzi. Age mwoko, mwini ga na abwa. Oga adro nyi huna mma, adro nyi aso na mma. Ke diu, uzo msi mejon di dietuwa. Asem no zon sine miya na odege mma. Njwa ase ambu mbu aga. Uwanyo mbarebe. Uwanyo mburumma. Uwanyo mbarota. Akwa so su yuzi yoma chine kese mbasa ni igwe kukana mbasa. Keziye gosi metutu unu. Obo geni mbele. Unu wana ase kakota nina mde kano ke uwe ya u ohaneze. Nande gofono. Obo ni gini mbele ndi hezmane ni gusi ndi madu nugu awosa. Ndi gofono hanugu awosa kwa weke ada gusiye. Inu anu nugu. No wanyi na achi ugu awosa gofono. Pota ase ke gusiye ndi hezmane. Una nunu kono nwone yoruba pota anasi ke gbu sendi OPC. Ogwuna so so ndi igbo. Ni hinu na agbale ka leka kono ga gbara ndi fulani odibo. Onye poto se ka gbara fulani odibo. Onye nse na mu awo nna mde ka na ga ma gbara fulani odibo. Ha wono akwese gbara mu odibo. Onye nese na mona. Ha ga nu gwa wosa. Nde ha na apolisi na ala. Na ajun ha o unu na eba nna mde ka na oputa kono kwochi one. Unu ha pi ona gbara ebe ni ne. E ga nnyega e kwi yozo.
on a I want our own dear audience to know that better uh, Mazen Nam the Canos non a brea or co gaho. I had a best prayer better because now for a full and nigger, Mephi. And I want our people to understand that uh, this is about almost six years ago video. Before you are talking about your presidency, he have said it. Only Sokoto, the lawmakers in Sokoto have covered the whole so-called eastern five states of Biafra. Only one state in northern have covered everything. Peter B will not listen to this one. Peter B will not hear it. On a feast, the same thing as Brazil, Obi Fibra, Peter B, Peter B, Pota, no Zade here, Peter B, Asimba. I want to a new Nigeria. After they lost, have you seen the football? Have you seen the football? Have you seen the football? Have you seen the you leave your emotion aside, you talk about the future. Mazi, what do you have to say? The only thing I have to say, when not now they can't, we are protesting. The only thing they are talking everywhere, now they can't is bringing out a Igbo youth. They are killing them. They are shooting them. They are killing them. He's destroying this, doing that. Okay. Now, Peter will be won the election. They robbed him. He went to court. And if court, if court decide not to decide, they are going, that is what they are going to do. They are going to also rob him in the court. And after robbing him in the court, what next? Protests will start. And when the protest starts, what next? <laughs> fire, fire will start. <laughs> now they will die. <laughs> now that time, when they, when they die, I believe they will not say it's Nandekano. They will not say it's IPOB. We are watching. If you no know one die, come join IPOB earlier. That day of their protest, just be like um, MSAS. You don't know how many of them will die now. Even if you deal with it, they have a Nigerian flag. They carry a Nigerian flag. One Nigeria. They go still shoot you. You know, that, that, Mazi, that is something they told us that time, that uh, if you, those people, uh, they are holding flag. You know, flag represent uh, Nigeria. Uh, if yeah. they see you with flag, Fulani are going to, this, those people that are holding the flag is the people that they first shot. This ah. is of where we are flag. They now, are you don't see that girl wake at a flag and says that girl will be a musician at the, the DJ at the waiting. Wake at a flag. Now she be the first person where they fire now with the nine M M bullet. The bullet where they take shoot that girl, he pierce that girl body, go kill another person to tell you say they no come with the mercy. You see him? Somebody will say him be one Nigeria. You carry your flag, police, army. Politicians no respect your flag. They say maybe they shoot you anything where they move. They shoot you and your flag throw away. Our Biafra, when we restore our Biafra, anybody with a Biafra flag, he represents when those days where your mother go beat you, beat you, beat you. You go wrong, enter where you are neighbor day. You go hook up. And when you reach there now, you are you are more than no going ever touch you again where you don't where you don't enter for somebody to help you. So immediately when you carry the Afran flag, raise them up. Nobody will touch you. They go pet you. Even if you steal something, 
then go pet you until that flag then go remove them from your hand and the suffering take you to court but when you deal with that flag for somebody to come harass you there na lie you any police who try go go jail to tell you how much we cherish that flag no be uh, no be nigerian flag where somebody go carry flag police go kill him if you see small picking where the mother those those ones where they claim say they love nigeria some of them they use nigerian uh, flag console cloth to give their children my brother when i don't see army where is the matriot woman and, and in child where we are we use nigerian flag so cloth for my present like this for airport lagos nigerian army don't hold one small gay teenager molest than that place tell and say who give them that nigerian uniform i mean the nigerian uh, flag they molest them there. They deal with that girl there because of the see with a flag, Nigerian flag. And I never see something else. to tell you that flag is don't belong to you. That flag is for Britain. Now for Brit British flag be that. No be no be your flag. That's all I have to say. If you want die with one Nigeria, good luck. Thank you, Marvin. Thank I you, Marvin. Uh, Marvin, let me let me say this uh, in two minutes. Then you will also use at least five minutes to seven minutes so because we are now we have nine minutes left uh i want to say this there is a rumor that is flying in the social media saying that uh mazen namdekano is going to sack some people he's uh, our legal uh our lawyers some of our lawyers i want you people to know that all those people that are saying that they are nobody and i saw it from our lawyer jimako I want to tell our lawyer Jimako this. He should take himself away from IPOB. A lawyer Jimako, you are a lawyer. You are not IPOB member. I want to tell our lawyer Jimako, you don't have that power to come out and begin to publish what? Nonsense. I call it nonsense. You don't have that impetus to come out and begin to publish what I don't think you know what you are doing. We have leadership. Whenever you think that Oyendu gave you people an, uh, a message, you go and give it to Mazichike. Those him, the one that belongs to IPOB, you give it to him. He left for him now to carry the order. If he did not, we allow him till Mazin Namdekano come. Or otherwise, if Mazin Namdekano give you a message for Mazin Namdekano's family, you can now go to anybody. It's a bureau, not quasi. It's a bureau, unfortunate adopted son of Afaruku Ibeko. You can go to him and submit yourself to him. We don't care. But we are telling you so that you say we are, did not tell you. You did not start this thing. You know? I know when you join this struggle, I mean you join as a our, uh, I don't know what they call it. In Mazen Nam, the kind of family lawyer. I don't know who you are. I want you to work with Ake when all fema call Aga apia wakwa gazu. Mazichina Samworu have said it. And whatever they said, we stand there. We are not free to follow, follow freedom fighter. And I have said it down with that number. I'm not a hero worshiper. And I want to also repeat this to our people, the great people all over the world. Any account that comes from Madame Finance that is not authenticated by Mazichike, those of they are all fraud. Nobody should put his money there. Nobody should put her money there. Nobody should listen to them at all. It does not matter. Also, we don't care. Let me repeat once again. Any account flying by Madame Finance or is the Bureau that was not authenticated or authenticated by Mazichi, they are all fraud. Don't put your money there. And I want them to cut this video and keep it to come. Because we have our evidence. We have the reason why we are standing here. We are under chain of command, command and control. If Obama has a go me get me one day we are not going to you and you are nobody. And I'm still the same time, the same using the same medium to tell Madame Finance she should tell us where our money is. He, she should come and tell us where our money in German account is. If they have already squandered our money. We are telling them it's not going to be, they are not going to eat it. Also, when time comes, then we see. And when Mazin Namdekano comes, 
we will begin to ask a very, very serious questions because we have come to stay. Somebody like the Biafran child, I'm not going to shy away by facing reality. And that is why we're here. Maz, I want you to use at least four minutes to address great people of Biafra, and then we are going to call it a day. Ndewo. Ndewo, Wachineke. Biafrans, if you still have anybody who still believing in one Nigeria, this coming election, those trying to participate in one Nigerian governorship election this coming Saturday being 11th, more especially those living in Lagos. If you remember every election of APC, na blood shared, make one not forget to, if you are pushing our people to go vote, be you leader, be you a politician, make one try provide security for them. Make one try provide security. No be when somebody will walk away from his house, come to the pulling unit to come vote. The next thing you will see hoodlums with the bottle and all the rest of it. Somebody will become blind. Some of them loses their life in the name of election. That is the reason why we say we Biafran, we need Biafran. We don't want all this Nigeria issue. So if you are approaching to a man like you say you want to go vote, protect yourself or make you try buy helmet, use iron. They go meet welder. Welder can, can build something like a uh, bulletproof with iron. You know, olden days, uh, Goliath, those, all those kind of uh, things they used to go for war. You go wear them. Iron go protect your heart, protect your back there. You wear helmet, then you go to vote. If they stab your knife or they choke you anything, you no go enter. They knock you stick for head. Helmet go protect you from there. You go run. Protect yourself. That is all I have to say. And for all of you, all of you, where they bring problem for this struggle, if you don't tire, waka come out. Give way. This Biafran struggle where we are the now, now you be the only force. Gianibo, unu me be here now. Never na chilo no ta. If we na destroy am now, full ani go eat una raw. They still they fear now. You know why full ani leave anibo. You know what it make for you know they enter people farm, they go eat cassava again. Now because of ESA, no. Now that ESA will not they use style, 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 make una come destroy. But I believe say we not go destroy ESN. So all hands to be on deck. If you don't tire with the one Nigeria, call me, make I register your name. Make I register your name. That's all I have to say. May God bless all of us. And they remember, make you not forget our leader, Mazen Nande Nandekano. Nande Kano is there because of us. So many of us now, it be like, say, we don't forget them. We are talking about election. Pito will be Pito. Would you Pito be do make we do self sometime? Pito will be Pito will be Pito will be as if you don't will anything special or game. When I know they see them now, can you be able to go defend that vote from, from, from fire to frying pan? Can you be able to go defend that vote? Go defend another, then go, then go release soldiers who will kill you. Because of say you protest. I know go agree, I know go agree. Only you, you know carry gun. They go fire you down. To tell you Nigeria is not for you. Biafra is only our hope. And this is where I stand. Even if Nami be the last man standing, I deal with him the camp. That is all I have to say. Thank you, Mazi Onyamishuba. Thank you very much. And I also at the same time thank our audience, those that are just listening to us. And those are going to listen to us later. I say, may you I bless every one of you. I also pray for our leader, Mazin Namdi Okuchukukano, who brought this ideology to us. And we are not going to stop because Biafra is our religion. Biafra is our way of life. And Biafra is the kingdom of Chukukukabiyama on this planet Earth. Of course, as some of you won't believe, when they brought Christianity to us, we accept it with defeat that you are a Christian. That is also how we are going to accept this. Of course, when you go to every land that British people colonize, all of them are still believing in their own religion, apart from African people. 
and I also pray for Sheshi dear. One year, Madame Joss Mondi, Nachifrafe for Gonko. I also salute the HDOS, Mazichike, Dozim, and those under him. I pray that you people will continue on this Biafran restoration project till Biafra is totally restored and beyond. Good day and welcome.